ball, you drop it on the ball, when the ball touches the ground, you click. Okay. Okay? We'll look like that. Good. Come. Thank you. Go get it. Bring it. With that. When the ball touches the ground, you click the moment you hear the ball touching the ground. Okay. Your wife will tell you if that happened simultaneously because she can hear the pop and the click at the same time. Okay. She's going to tell you to slow, to fast, and you adjust accordingly. And what are we trying to do? To click at the right moment. Okay. Your visual skills to click when you see it. Okay. And then click when you hear it. So, so, that see, so that we're clicking at the right time when right. she's doing stuff? Right. Okay. And then the next exercise is tossing the ball up, and when the ball is all the way up, if it stops, you click it before it comes down. Okay. Your partner will check that if that stopping comes with the clicking. Okay. Sometimes we have a difference between visual and clicking, or audio and clicking. It's come always a little early or too late. Yeah, okay. For the dog who thinks very fast, that millisecond is a lot. Oh, okay. While the dog is thinking about the process. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? Down. Down. Good. Go get it. Good. Thank you. Down. Go. Down. Look, down, down, Too much stimulation on the ball. So the ball can be an indication how much you can handle stress. Okay, Go get it. Come. She was playing ball. Okay. That goes here. That goes here. Yes, good job, good game. So we're going to work on that. So while she's diving on the stuff, she still has to think to make it right. Yeah. Here. Here. Almost there. Try again. Here, try again. Over. 
That's it. Where's the ball? Get your ball. Here. Okay, come get it. Yes. Good job. Come. She's very good. Yeah, she's quick. <laughs> Any questions? Um, Scott, you might have already told Scott, but the, the barking after you've been here for a while, she seems to be like getting used to you, and then she just randomly starts barking. Is that just a nervous? Yeah, it's know, okay. the excitement. Okay. She she suppresses it. She doesn't know how to get it out, mm -hmm. and then she barks about it, which is it's kind mm -hmm. of like a relief valve. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't be concerned, but we want kind of that to be a better way to ground it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't fit in here. Is it the toy box? That is the baby clothes dirty oh. burp box. <laughs> Done? Okay. Oh, you want to throw it? Ready? I can get it. I can get it. Go fix it. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Go get it. Where's the ball? I can't get it. So it's, it's a patient game. Yeah. Mm However, -hmm. like it's like a puzzle game. You, I can only throw the ball if you threw the ball in my head. Yeah. I can only open the door if you are on your bed. So this way we get this idea. I can only do certain things if you do your part. Your yeah, part, my part. Part of the game, though. Right. It's right. Not just the taker. Good. I had this game with a three-legged dog who recently got amputated. And the doctor says, no move as a dog should be kind of like forever, not doing anything. And this person was actually a runner who had also knee surgery. So they were kind of like partners, yeah, yeah. trauma partners. We had the dog running around and playing. And the dog was so smart, he was running halfway back and tossed the ball into my hand mm -hmm. from like 15, 20 feet away. And I'm like... Did he just really do that? Yeah. Just <laughs> accidentally? No, no, that was like on purpose. She stopped there, tossed the ball like a basketball player right in my head. That was it. That was like, I'm done here. She learned to figure it out. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. At the end, the dog was on the boat, went shipping cruises, oh, had cool. their own harness on. She was kind of part of their lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, fix it. Get your ball. Get your ball. You know, I don't, uh, 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 that's not what I want. I want the ball. Bring me the ball. Catch your ball. Good. Bring it in. Catch your ball. Good. Thank you. Catch your ball. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Like looked for your hand that time. Yeah, you go. Good job. The little gold player. You have a good floor. I know. <laughs> yeah. She's lying. Upstairs. That, that's is all enough. Perfect. Game over. I'm out. I'm out. Be quicker. Oh, thank you. Game over. Yeah. I'm not playing. I'm not playing anymore. It's over. So once over, you don't touch the ball anymore, or you put it away. Okay. So it has a beginning and an end. Okay. Let's go play the ball. And she's like, oh, the ball, the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has to remember all the sequences that we do with that option of the ball. But if I say end of the ball, then it's, it's over. We're not playing it anymore. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Was it helpful today? 
very helpful. Yeah. I mean, very helpful for sure. What's your takeaway? Um, the her place needs to become like the center of all of our right. you know everything that we're doing. Feeding her when we're having people come over when we're um, gonna go on a walk. All those things it needs to start with the bed because right. that can help her start to. She will also tell you, I need my safe place because I want something to happen. And then so you she'll go there when. Right, she's gonna tell you, I'm ready for it. I'm here. Let's go. Back. Let's go for a walk. Okay. You can tell her bring him on the leash. Like I'm bringing the ball. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's the biggest. As far as I don't know what kind of questions we can ask right now, but her harness, she seems to be like. I don't know if afraid of her harness is the right word, but she'll come straight to her leash for a walk. Totally once the leash mm -hmm. harness, she will. You bring it out, and she literally runs okay. away. Um, you have the harness? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What time is it? It's 2.52. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I do have the next appointment, but I think we can make it.